welcome to part whatever it says in the title of my Minecraft survival series. Today, I'm going to try and finish the village. Now, I keep underestimating how long it's going to take. I always feel like it's not going to take that long and then I'll play for an hour and it's still not done. I'm going to try and finish it today. If not today, then definitely the next episode. All I need to do is get a bunch of coal, which shouldn't take too long if I go mining. That way I can fill the rest of the village up with torches. And I just need to go around the wall, fixing things up, just making sure that everything's okay. We officially have a new holy figure in this village, which is funny because the Holy Llama in the Bedrock series, that was just so random and I didn't think that would ever happen in one of my worlds ever again. But here we are, Holy Iron Golem. Still don't know how we got up there in the first place, but you know what? That's part of being a holy figure. There's mysterious things going on with them. That's just how it is. Okay, now hold on a second. Where is my door? Last time I tried to put a door down, it didn't really work out because there was a huge gap. Look, if we get rid of this and then we put a door down, there's a huge gap in between it. So what I'm going to do for this part is I'm just going to get rid of that and I'm going to replace it with actual cobblestone. Boom. That looks good. And what I'll do is I'll just get some torches. Uh, I guess I'll just take this for now. And I'll put a torch on either side. There we go. That looks okay. I'll put the buttons down. And uh, what I'm also going to do is, do I not have a shovel? No, I don't. Yeah, because you can just, like, jump over the door right now. So I'm going to get rid of the, the blocks on the other side. Just to give me a bit of space, you know. So now, I can actually come out like that. Okay, that's good. I'm happy about that. Those torches have been completely misplaced. So they're not evened out or anything like that. But I'm going to replace them. It looks like you could just jump over this. But first of all, you can't. But even if you could, you know, the mobs can't jump anyway. So, okay, maybe it's not impossible. But again, mobs can't run and jump like that. So there's really no threat here. But maybe if there is a threat, I'll just do that instead. I think that looks better anyway so anyway i'm gonna create a new mine that isn't in the village the last one was just so fucking crap actually do i really want to be doing that with no torches i guess i'll just digitally enhance the video um i don't have any torches but i don't have any coal to make any with so i'm just gonna go mining in the dark hoping that i find coal sooner rather than later you know what screw mining I've, i'm not doing that i'm just gonna go looking around for caves there's gotta be coal up there there has to be. That's one of those places where I'm going to go to the top and there's going to be a shit ton of coal up there. There it is. I can see it. So that was a much better decision than going down mining. Mining is boring when you're going in a straight line finding nothing. Yeah. Oh, one. Well... Wow. I was hoping for a bit more, but there's got to be loads up here. I'll get some, you know, wool because, of course, I will be feeding my villagers to make sure that they're... That make sure that there's always new villagers coming in. Two again. Come on, where's where's all the coal at? Usually you find like 30 coal in one. Here we go, here we go. And I should have brought another pickaxe because this is going to break. Damn it. Fine, I'll go back. How much did I get? 34, that's great. That is solid, solid stuff. Wait a second. Where am I? I'm lost. How did I get lost in such a minus 1,400 at 1,000? There we go. How did I get... Wow. Oops, I did not mean to give birth to a chicken there, but I just did. Does it think I'm its dad? I am not your dad. I made two of them because, you know, if I ever run out, I'll have another one spare. Okay, I'm going to go in a straight line so I know exactly where I'm going. Actually, no, I'll draw an arrow. I mean, that's a pretty shit arrow, but it, it does the job, doesn't it? Like, I need it. You know what? I know what to do. I've got an idea. Let me go back to my arrow so I know where I am. You might be wondering, what is this idea that you have? What is this idea that is going to give you so much coal? Well, I'm going to go to the arrow so I know where I am when I get back out. I'm just going to dig straight down. Hopefully fall into a cave. There we go. Damn, this is exactly what I was looking for. Moral of the story. If you ever think, you know, I've got enough coal, I don't need to mine this. Just mine it anyway, because you never know when you need to make a thousand torches. If two pieces of coal gave us eight torches, then... We're going to be good very, very soon. Now, there is a cave here. I'm going to go down into it. Don't hear any mobs, so we should be pretty good. <gasps> Whoa. And coal. Best of both worlds. And I wonder, what level are we on? Oh, 26. Um, yeah, I was thinking maybe we could get diamonds as well, but probably not. Okay, I'm going to go back up. I don't have any torches to go further, so... Okay, we're at level 12. This is it. It would be nice if I finally got some diamonds. That's all I'm saying. No, I brought two pickaxes because I knew this would happen. I am convinced that this seed is rigged. I just don't think diamond exists in this world. Oh, 
hopefully, when I come back to this mine, I don't mine that block, or I'll plummet to the bottom. Wait. Oh, that's my arrow. I was like, what the? What, what happened to it? Yeah, I'm going to keep it as night time. I know there might be mobs actually spawning in the village, but it's a price that I have to pay because I need to know where I'm putting the torches. So I'll let the farmer sleep for today. Let's go and make as many torches as we can. How many do you, do you reckon we're going to get out of this? Hmm. That's nearly two stacks. Okay, and we've still got 50 left. You know what? I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep it at that for now because I do need some for myself. And maybe in the future I will clear them up a little bit so they're not as messy as they are and there's a bit more order to them but looks good either way see look in the dark area oh yes that's exactly what i'm talking about <gasps> oh skeleton fight oh well there was a skeleton fight but you finished him off yeah see look at oh they can shoot my iron golems i suppose that's a bad i suppose that's quite bad but as you just saw the iron golems can also kill the skeletons if they get too close there's a zombie there who clearly can't get in, so this is 100% uh, working. Look, proof that the... And the Iron Golems, yeah, they're doing stuff. They're actually being productive for once. Uh, they don't need to kill that zombie, but I feel like, yeah, they're going to try anyway. See, look at that. I mean, this is great. This is exactly what I want. I know there are a few issues with not having a big wall like in the other version, but it doesn't make much of a difference when it comes to anyone getting in. However, I'm yet to come across an enemy in the village, so that's a great sign. Right, this place needs some torches ASAP. Okay, we've got, we've got plenty more if we don't fucking throw them away. Yeah, it's becoming daytime. That was quick. Okay, but I can see this area needs a few. Plus that entire night, didn't see a single enemy in the village. So I'm going to get back out the cobblestone walls. I don't think I need more than uh, 64 because I'm just going to be going around making sure it's all okay. And so for here, I'm also going to put like a little walkway here. And I'm getting rid of this crap as well. You see how it like attaches to the wall when there's a block next to it? Getting rid of it all. Look at that. Look how crap it looks when there's blocks next to it. I'm going to get rid of a bit of this hill because I'm not a big fan of having it sort of overlook this bit of the wall. Not that they could get in from over here, but just for extra safety. This could be a snipe spot for skeletons, you know. They could stand up here and just shoot through the village. Oh, I never did that. Okay. I reckon we can get rid of that and maybe add one more there. That looks better, right? Yeah, th there we go. There we go. That's even now. See, this, I'm not a big fan of that. I'll have that extend a little bit. It looks like we're actually going to finish this in today's video. Then we can finally move on to getting the stuff I need to kill the Ender Dragon. Damn, I made some tea at the beginning of this video like 40 minutes ago and it's cold. I completely forgot about it. Oh, it's getting dark again already. Oh, I've run out of walls as well, so I suppose I'll just... Uh jump over for now. I suppose I'll use this to uh, go around the village maybe one last time with torches. Maybe test the security again. Someone breaking into the village through the wall. Not happening. Everything's looking good though. Everything's looking solid. There's no one in the village. I've got plenty of iron golems and I haven't even made any yet. I can make some. No! The holy iron golem is gone. Well, he might still be here, but he fell off or just got off. Ah, I guess he resigned. Maybe being God was too stressful. This is so sad. One like equals one prayer. Thing is with this village, it's much bigger than my other one. So it requires a lot more torches. Oh, no. Not good. Not good. This area needs torches. There's creepers and... What seemed to be a skeleton? I don't know what- Oh, get off the crops, mate. Get off. Come over here. You fuck! What the hell is down here? That's my old mine. At least this wasn't affected. But it just shows there is work to be done. There's, there's things spawning over here somewhere. You know what? I'll put torches in here just before I patch it up. Overall, it does seem safe, though. You know, we're, we're walking around at night time. There's absolutely nothing here. I'm going to go on top of the trees and I'm going to put down uh, like a block on each one so I can put a torch down. So the trees and the villager houses need torches. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Where's that coming from? Now, I know there's a few caves under here, actually. So it could very much be that. And if that's the case, then I really don't care. You know the caves that I blocked up? It could very much be that. Yeah, they're underneath the village, I would say. Started putting torches down on the walls. They're not all even just yet, but they will be. So we're going to build up just here. And we're going to see what it's looking like. Whoa, that is looking good. So as you can see, there are a few dark areas down there. 
um, which I believe is in the village, right? Yeah, it looks like it's in the village. It's uh, pretty good. We can't see any activity going on. Uh, maybe like a few patches down there but I'd say that is good enough. But I'm gonna leave it at that for today. Uh, I'll do the remaining few things off camera, just going around the wall, cleaning things up and putting the remaining torches on, but pretty much we are done, so. Yeah, I'd like to see you do that, spider. Ha, <laughs> epic fail. Crap. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I apologize if putting torches down and stuff like that is not entertaining, but it's got to be done. Yeah, then I'll do the remaining few things off camera and then we'll be good. So thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you all in my next video.